Welcome, guys, to the SAK Show brought to you by Mac Coffee. Before we start, as always, a big thank you to all of our sponsors, Royal Orchid Azure, The Wet Lounge, Bollywood Casino, and Power Yo Now. That's Mac Coffee. Today's guest, we've heard that the Asian community got the 44th try. What is all that about? Let's find out. Welcome to the SAK Show, powered by Mac Coffee. Farah Mansoor, today's guest. Farah Mansoor. Pleasure. How are you? Thank you so much for coming, removing nice your precious time and coming here. You know, It's really nice to have you over here. Now, Farah Mansoor. Who is Farah Mansoor? Shahid, I'm a human rights activist, a politician, okay. a philanthropist, and yes, now the pioneer to get the Kenyan nations recognized as the 44th tribe of Kenya. Wow. Brilliant stuff. So tell, tell me, uh, let's go. Let's go way back. Uh, let's get to know you a bit more. Far Mansur, you 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 were born and brought up in Nairobi, Kenya. Yes, I'm a fifth generation Kenyan nation. Okay. Uh, I was born here, bred here, studied here. Um, my great grandfather also, Mohammed in Buddha, together with he was a pioneer and fought for the freedom wow. of our great uh, nation, Kenya. Yeah. Together with other freedom fighters, uh, there was. Uh, of course, you know Makan Singh, mm -hmm. Manilal Desai, Sir Gama Pinto. Okay. And there were so many of our Asians, yeah. uh, you know, who, who did a lot for our country. Yes. Yes. Okay, and, and, and about you then, uh, how did you start with politics? How did you get into politics? Is it because of your, your grandfather and all, or you decided no, yourself? No, no. So I uh, worked for the airline industry for good 17 years. Okay. My last job was with uh, PricewaterhouseCoopers and then I got into women empowerment. I opened up an NGO for okay. Asian women and Muslim women. I was a victim of inheritance issues after I lost my husband mm -hmm. and I was the first lady uh, also. Uh, you know, I lobbied and uh, we got women in the Qadi's courts. Okay. We didn't have female representation. What do you mean, got women into the uh, Qadi's courts? You see, uh, I'm a layman. I don't know these things. So, so just give us more details yes, about it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> we we had we had the Qadi's courts. Yeah. Uh, but we did not have women representing us there. Okay. And it was important because there are certain things, Shahid, you cannot discuss with a man. Uh, with a yeah, man. Yeah. And a woman is very important and I had a, a lot of uh, issues to deal with mm -hmm. and, and I realized that uh, women need help, uh, we must have proper representation. Mm -hmm. So I lobbied for uh, female uh, representatives mm -hmm. in the Qadi Scots together with uh, Sheikh Ibrahim Lathome, mm -hmm. the Majlis Sulama and uh, Dr. Willie Matunga, he mm -hmm. is the, the, the you know, former Chief Justice. Okay. He is the one who opened my NGO, at that time he was with Ford Foundation. And that's what uh, got me there. And uh, in our women have a lot of challenges, especially the Asian women in India. Yeah. They don't come out to mm -hmm. talk about mm -hmm. you know, their issues. And uh, that was a starting point. And then in 2007, uh, at the time of the post-election violence, I had a friend of mine uh, who got raped during mm -hmm. that violence. Mm -hmm. And uh, I did a lot of counseling uh, to her and uh, she was pregnant. And she took me to Rift Valley. That's how I got into politics. I know a lot of tragedies happened at Rift Valley, but right, yes. how did that uh, enter into politics? These women needed a lot of counseling yeah. to be done. They were raped. Uh, we had to make sure that you know they go back, you know, from where where they had come from, mm -hmm. because some of them were refusing to go back, to, you know, to the places they they lived, yeah. and uh, that you know made me um, meet politicians and uh, did a lot of work with Kaplagat, the late Kaplagat, who yeah. passed away recently, and I got into politics like that, and then in 2010 mm -hmm. I invited an icon in Kenya. I hosted him here, Ansar Burney. Ansar Burney. Yes, okay. he uh, actually uh, sent hundred thousand oh. um, children back to their homes uh, from the Middle East. Camel jockey, uh, mm -hmm. you know, who were involved with the camel oh. uh, jockey issues, and he was awarded 
uh, by Cornelius Arise. Okay. And somehow we, I got in touch with him and he wanted to come to Kenya. He had been here before, so basically brought him here for Somali piracy, female genital mutilation, human trafficking, modern day slavery. Mm. And he was here. And uh, this uh, 44 issue actually at that time was 43. Yeah. And uh, this started with uh, my brother, Shahid Mahmood, my uncle, Iqbal Rashid. It was the three of us. Mm. And you know, we said, why, you know, we need this recognition. Yeah. And uh, when we got into this, uh, I went to see Honorable Rayla. He was Prime Minister at that time in yeah. 2010. Mm -hmm. But unfortunately, he was busy. He couldn't see me. I tried again. I couldn't get hold of him. 2013, I went to the presidential debate. Now, this was not discussed in the debate. It was off record. When the debate was over, all of us now went to the podium to say jumbo to the presidential aspirants who were vying at that time. And I met Honorable Rayla again. Mm -hmm. And I asked him. Why are you not seeing me? <laughs> no, for the okay. recognition, yeah, uh, yeah. I wanted to discuss mm. with him on the mm. recognition and, and he said he will look later into it because he was campaigning. Yeah. And just, uh, you know, at, at the same podium, we I met the others and I met uh, our president. Uh, he was vying for the, uh, you know, presidential seat. And uh, I asked him, on, uh, you know, that uh, we want to be recognized as the 43rd tribe of Kenya. And uh, Shahid, I must say, very sociable, very humble man. And he said, uh, he started laughing and he said, when hopefully I'm elected, come and see me. Mm -hmm. So we exchanged numbers with his PA and uh, the first lady. Mm -hmm. And then now what happened was, you know, people want to know why it took all this time. Because uh, from 2013 to up till now, uh, you know, we had the airport uh, yeah. that got burned. Yes, the JKIA. Yes, yes. So Kenya is much bigger yeah. than all of us. You cannot yeah. go and discuss these issues. Yeah. Then we had the Westgate attack. Yes. Uh, we had the Garissa attack. <laughs> we had the ICC cases mm -hmm. that were going on. There was a lot happening. There was a lot, but we were in touch. And during this journey of mine, uh, my co-pioneer was uh, uh, Honorable Joshua Odongo. I spoke to him about this mm. and he supported me. He was uh, vying for vice presidency in 2013 with DIDA. So he said, uh, this is a very noble course mm. and uh, let's go ahead. But I had to travel to 47 counties because the census report uh, showed we are only 15,000 in the country mm. and that's not possible. So now I had to travel and, and find out how many uh, Shia Muslims we had, how many Sunni Muslims we had all over the country, um, Ismailis, Bohuras, Hindus, Sikhs, Gobans, Parsis, Mirzais. We I had to know all this. So during that five years, I was still in talks with the government, but I had to prepare my logistics and, and everything. And then we move ahead with it. Mm. Then in August 2016, yeah. uh, the Makonde's, uh, in Kuala were recognized and at the same time we were petitioning and I was on my final stages and uh, then I petitioned uh, when I petitioned His Excellency uh, the president uh, there were people who joined me as well uh, from different communities mm -hmm. uh, we, I had everybody from every community okay uh, you know so we went in as Kenyan nations mm -hmm. and uh, we presented to him I took a delegation to State House yeah and uh, I must say that uh, what he said to us mm. uh, was really awesome. Uh, his speech was, uh, you know, we are not foreigners. We should not be intimidated. We belong here. And this recognition is not for expatriates. This is for Kenyan nations. Kenyan nations yeah. and, yes. And, uh, you know, we were given a, he gave his PA one week, uh, you know, to sort out. So. Then after a week, of course, I followed them up and then it was Ramadan, hmm. uh, you know, so I was also waiting for the Ramadan to be over. Yeah. And uh, alhamdulillah, we, we, got got the, we got the recognition and, and I'm very grateful uh, to, to the president and the government yeah. for getting us this identification. Hmm. Because, you know, Shahid, even if you, if you, what has been previously been happening, hmm. Uh, even in a joking manner, you know, you are told, Windy, yeah. Rudy India. Hmm. 
you know, I was born here. Yeah. So we're born here, we're bred here. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I've been in the airline industry. Hmm. Believe me, I only know India and Pakistan from the map. <laughs> I travel yeah. the world. Yeah. But I've never been there. Hmm. This is my home. You know, mm -hmm. this is where I'll be buried. This yeah. is where my forefathers, everybody's, we're all buried here. And this is our soil. Uh, mm -hmm. Kenya is, you know, uh, this is our country. So, so you actually spearheaded yes. this whole operation. That's right. We could call it an operation, of course. Yes. Uh, so you, you, you are the one who actually started this initiative and everything. Yes. So at the moment, there are a lot of people claiming to be doing this. Like claiming. some people are saying that I'm the one who got it done, no, or no, I no. got it done, or this and that. So, so how do you how do you no, differentiate? No, no, the gazettement was given to me. It yeah. was uh, shown on the TV. It was worldwide. Yeah, yeah, was yeah I saw your video on uh, the CNN. It was handed over to me. It was on yeah. CNN. Yeah, it was yeah. covered by BBC. Yeah. Uh, everybody knows it was me. Yeah, I yeah. took the delegation. So, uh, you know, what people are trying to say is that some. Yeah. They, they of, tried uh, to do it. Resistance. No, it's not resistance. Huh. Some of them say that they tried to do this. Yeah. Uh, but you know, everybody, they could have tried. Yeah. But they did not succeed. They did not succeed. Yes, you succeeded. They did not succeed. And, yes. and you, you're saying that from each community, let's say like uh, the Hindus, the Sikhs, yes. everybody, somebody was there, a representative was there with you on yes, board. Yes, you see, what I did, I yeah. did not follow. Uh, uh, like, you know, I did not go and look for the Hindu council yeah. to represent the Hindus. Yeah. No, okay. this was not about Hindus, it was not about Sikhs, yes. it was not about Muslims. Yeah. I did not go look for the councils. Yeah. We just went as in, on individual capacity. Okay, okay, okay. See, so, so I you took a Hindu on board with me. I took Who a had got on nothing board. to do with not, another absolutely. organization? Absolutely, our constitutional right. I yeah. did not pick any organizations. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you see, that was going to bring conflict. Yeah. Previously, we had, uh, in fact, we had issues that uh, you know, some somebody tried to petition, uh, saying that the six mm. uh, need to be recognized separately. Mm. Uh, and that's not possible hmm. uh, because we are all Kenyan nations, yeah, yeah. despite the fact which tribe. Or mm. I mean, uh, despite the fact what, what religion we come yeah, from, yeah, yeah? Yeah. we are all Kenyan nations. When we came here in Kenya, yeah. you see, like uh, as far as my history is concerned, we just didn't come to build the railway. Mm. We came here to trade yeah. with the Arabs in Daos. Yeah. That's how my forefathers came here. Oh, okay. Okay? Yeah. And at that time, it was not India or Pakistan. It was mm. Hindustan. Mm -hmm. That's how we came here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, now the railway started yeah. and we had so many others who joined mm. and our people shed blood. We mm -hmm. had 3,000 people uh, who shed their blood. Yeah. The railway was built without shoes. Yeah, yeah, yeah? Yeah. And I also gave a painting, <clears throat> a very historic painting, uh, you must have seen it, yeah. uh, Kenyan Asian History to His Excellency, Actually, you know, showing let's, exactly... Let's, let's take a look at that painting right now. Yeah, so that that's a brilliant stuff. I mean, what you've done, uh, you know, I know some are like, it's, it's, it's a sitting on the fence for me. But uh, there was something at that same time that went viral, which was like, I am tribeless. What do you have to say about that? You know, uh, I know many, many yes, friends yes, of many, mine and everybody people, said, I am uh, tribeless. people wanted to take the glory of this. Yeah. Uh, they were shocked that mm -hmm. an Indian woman, uh, you know, uh, just... Mm. did this mm. and they, we've been here 100 years yeah. uh, people didn't manage to do it well, mm. they might have had obstacles or whatever mm. okay but I overcame that and I was successful mm. now the tribe issue uh, you know everybody uh, feels uh, that this is a negative thing but yeah. it's not negative I'll tell you why yeah. uh, Africa comprises of tribes that's how we are identified yeah. in Europe Oh, there is the race system. Nobody questions that. Mm -hmm. Why is it that when it comes to Africa, mm -hmm. uh, you know, we want to pick up on these tribal issues? Yeah. This is an identification. We mm -hmm. have become part and parcel mm -hmm. of this country. Mm -hmm. Okay, we were there, yes, but we were not on that list. Okay, so that recognition but gives do, you the sense of yeah. belonging. Do you, do, don't you think like that's like I'll bring in the the old school and the current youth mentality and all that? You know, there, there's even like you know, re respect all religions, all or none. And I think is maybe that is the, the direction they want to go like, 
Too many dry tribes are no, going to divide us no, and will, segregate us. No, it's not a matter so, of dividing us. Yeah. Because number one, when you go and uh, let's say you go and take a week. Uh, mm. Maybe you can answer this question by telling us the real uh, advantages of it. Yes, I'll yeah. tell you what the advantage is. Uh, number one, uh, we have uh, become part and parcel of this country mm -hmm. as a minority. Mm -hmm. okay? uh, Africa consists of tribes. Yeah. That's how we are classified. Yeah. Okay? Like in Europe, it's race system. Yeah. Okay? The Africa, it is tribe system. Tribes, yes. If you go today to Okikuyu, mm -hmm. right, and you go and tell him, or, or a Luo, or a, any Kalenji, and you go and tell them that uh, we don't want to be called tribes. Uh, you are taking the identification from him. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He is a Kikuyu at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. So I am a nation at the end of the day. Yeah. That is what it is all about. Yeah. And, and uh, that gives you a sense of belonging. belonging which is, because previously what has been happening is uh, we sit in Matatu, or we sit in the, we're in the supermarkets. Uh, even when we were in school, mm -hmm. uh, I never heard this in school, but when I went out to work, this was what it was. Mm. They, they tell you, Wendy, mm -hmm. uh, Rudy, India. <laughs> you know, mm. India, where? We mm. don't belong there. Yeah, yeah, born and brought up here. We were born yeah. and bred here. Mm. We, we, we are Kenyan, uh, Kenyans by birth. Yeah. Most of our, our second generation, third generation, yeah. but we belong here. Okay? So it's, it's not, uh, we don't have to look at it in a negative way, unless now, we decide to remove all the tribes in Kenya, mm -hmm. okay, which is not possible. Yeah. Because you see, a Kikuyu has his culture, yeah. a Luo has his culture, and a Kalanjin, and so do the Muintis. Mm. Okay? I, I cannot come and tell you, Shai, uh, okay, so now you identify yourself. Yeah. Uh, who are you? Yes, you're mm. a Kenyan. But when you're filling a form also for visa mm. uh, purpose, okay, they ask you mm. ethnicity. Mm. All right, your race, ethnicity, gender, gender those know, are yes, the questions yes, you're yeah. asked. Yes, yeah. so yeah. we then get confused even when we are applying for identity cards. Yeah, uh, previously, what we've been doing is uh, you know, we're confused. Uh, what do we write? You're told, okay, go and bring your grandfather's passport, mm. um, but you're Kenyan. Mm. You see, if your father is a Kenyan or your mother is a Kenyan born, you're you have every right Kenyan. to yes. that identity yes. card. Yeah. With our children, it has taken a positive yeah. turn eh? with the current generation. Uh, I was at a restaurant and uh, we were queuing, and this young boy comes. He had the Kenyan uh, flag, the band, uh, yeah. yes, uh, not the wristband on mm. it. And he, you know, uh, told this uh, woman at the counter, uh, you know, he ordered, and then he said, Sasami uh, mini Kabila la Kenya, for tribe, when mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Okay? And Believe me, that lady came out mm. and she hugged him. Oh, mm -hmm. Okay, so this has brought us together. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, this is not something that we should look at it in a negative way. Yeah. Because this is the identification. Yeah. In Africa, this is how you're recognized. So you're saying the negativity is coming out because a particular sect did not get the credit for it? Yes, it's basically that. And uh, you, you see, when, when I was approaching them, yeah. they, they did not want to come out as one unified people, uh, my my organization must carry the day. Mm. Uh, mine must do it. But that, it's that not, it wasn't okay. their baby. It was an individual effort. No, yeah. it was an individual effort. Yeah. And and if they were doing it all these years, then then they should have continued. Mm. Why was there a stop? Mm. Is now when they saw this coming out, mm. and I being a lady, mm. I, I think yeah, uh, that was to shocking to them. Yes, <laughs> okay. uh, maybe it was that. I yeah. don't know. All but right. uh, I feel that, uh, yes, this is good for our people, whatever has happened. Good stuff. So, I was reading the other day and uh, there, there's a controversy about the a the word Asian. Like, you know, now, like, even Chinese are considered Asian. No. And so they're uh, like, yes, you know. They, yeah, yeah so I'll, I'll tell you about that. Yeah. Uh, you see, when we use the word Kenyan Asians, yeah. uh, some of us thought that maybe we should call ourselves Kenyan Indos. Mm. or something like that yeah. but you see all of us did not come from India okay okay there were some who came from Bangladesh or Pakistan or Sri Lanka 
different uh, you know places mm -hmm. so that would discriminate the others mm -hmm. so now the Asian word uh, of course we looked into it because of the Chinese mm -hmm. and uh, the Kalenjins uh, sorry the Luos and the Luyas they also have uh, they're also like us like you see we have got Hindus, Sikhs, mm -hmm. Muslims uh, Parsis, so yeah. many Kabilas, yeah? Yeah. the, the Maimans, the Punjabis, mm. uh, we have all that, yeah? the yeah. Kachi speaking people. Similarly, the Luyas also have sub tribes, okay, the sub communities. Sub -communities so we classified, yeah. and the Chinese is not there. Mm -hmm. The records are there with the Ministry of Interior. Okay, so it's uh, not of there. Of course, at all. yes, it was clarified. Okay, okay. Yes, it was actually given to us because one, uh, you know, I think it was high time. Mm -hmm. Uh, we deserved it and uh, we did a lot, you know, we fought for the uh, liberation of Kenya as yeah. well. What about this certificate, you know, like can, can anybody just grab that certificate? No, if it was an organization... Can somebody walk around with the certificate and say, hey, see, this is what I've done? No, 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 no. The certificate is with me. Yeah. It will remain with me. <laughs> yeah. Yes, yeah. it will remain in my family. This yeah. is history for me. Yeah. And uh, if, if it was an organization, if somebody did it, then, you know, the cabinet secretary mm. would have made sure that he would have mm -hmm. uh, specified uh, that he's giving it to a certain organization or to, you know, uh, a certain community or whatever. But no, it was not like so that. If you're wondering what certificate we're on about, take a look at it. Now tell me, uh, off the record, who are your favorite three politicians? <laughs> <laughs> My favorite politician, yeah. uh, of course, is His Excellency. Yeah, is Kenyatta. it because he is the no, Excellency is, right now? <laughs> no, no, even if he wasn't, yeah. he's, he's a very social, uh, very down to earth, yeah. humble man, okay. I must say. Uh, Honorable Ruto, uh -huh. the Deputy President. He is a politician in a half. Yeah, okay. okay? Because uh, he's somebody. He's, he's a great politician as well. All right. Number three. Uh, number three, she's passed away. She was yeah. my mentor. It was uh -huh. uh, Wangari Mathai. Wangari Mathai. Right. Wangari Mathai. She was a strong lady. Yeah. No nonsense. Yeah. You, you stood up for Westlands. Uh, yes, I went for once. Westlands seat. Yeah, the 2017. Yeah. How did that go? Uh, I didn't make it in the didn't primaries. I lost honorably. Okay. So um, you're, you're coming back again next? 2022, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Yeah. How okay. it goes. Any, any future plans about your your organization and your empowering and everything. So, yeah. I still want to empower women. Yeah. Uh, still want to continue with that. Yeah. You empower one woman, yeah. uh, you've empowered the whole generation. Yeah. That's yeah. what I believe, yes. So as, as general, what's your take about the, the Asians in politics? We had a good number. Yeah. Uh, yes, we did. Okay, we, we had very few women. Mm -hmm. uh, it was just two or three of us. Yeah. I would want to encourage 2022, I want to mentor, I want yeah. to see 40, 50 of them out there. Yeah, yeah. Yes, because I think we can, why not? Why not, right? Yes, uh, we got three elected. Yeah. Uh, there was, unfortunately, there's no woman, Kenyan Asian woman elected. Yeah. And it would be history. Yeah. If, uh, I would be so proud if anybody would nice. be elected. Yes. It's good. This woman continues to make history. We wish you all the best. <laughs> Thank you for coming and for your time. Just a small hamper for you from our sponsors. Thank you very much. And we'll see you around. Thank okay. you for watching, guys. Keep watching. It's the SAK Show on Zindagi TV. And as you do that, don't forget to sip your mic coffee. <laughs>